Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm so pumped for this video because honestly I feel like in the summertime it's so useful to know what other people take for their travel makeup bags and what they pack. So today we're going to be going through all of that. Um, if you guys want to actually see me apply the products that I do and um, like how I do my makeup for travel, I will include that in a part two of this video because every time that I pack my travel makeup, I also make sure to try it all on my face as I have packed it because that way I know, oh, I forgot to pack brushes. That actually happened to me one time or I forgot to pack whatever. So that's really helpful for me. So I'm going to do that now, um, now that I've already filmed this video and I'll make sure to link it once in this video once that one is uploaded. But make sure to watch out for that part two. If you guys have not subscribed already, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below so that you are notified every single time I upload. And also make sure to hit that notification bell. That way, if you want to see the part two of this video, you don't miss out and you get to see it. So I love you guys and let's go ahead and get started on packing my travel makeup bag. I actually found this Sonia Kashuk makeup bag when I was at a Goodwill and it looked so perfect. Like it was like big enough to like hold stuff and had enough compartments, but it wasn't too large. So, cause let me just show you guys the way that I have my makeup set out right now. I know I kind of briefly showed it um, in my video with my husband, but like I have literally everything laid out in front of me. I'm not home. Um, we are, are subleasing a place for the summer and we are gonna be back home soon. So like I literally brought almost all of my makeup collection here with me. Um, but I need to condense that into like a really small bag for traveling. We are gonna be going away for the weekend. We have um, a friend's wedding coming up and we're super excited about it, but obviously I can't take like all my makeup on the flight because we're only gonna be there for two days. So we didn't even get checked luggage. So let me just show you guys how I'm breaking things down. Okay, so if you guys can see here, I have like all of my eyebrow stuff and lashes. Here I have like a bunch of palettes. Then I have um, highlighters blushes, bronzers, my face brushes, my setting sprays, um, some lashes up here. I have um, my eye brushes in these little containers. I have, I just washed some beauty sponges, um, so they're sitting here. My foundations, concealers, bigger face palettes, um, and powders. Oh, there's my phone, primers, and more powders. So if we weren't going on plane, I would obviously take more makeup, but we are in fact going on a plane. So basically I try to pack as light as I possibly can because this is just gonna go in my backpack. And I try to pick out all the face products I need beforehand. And then after I do so, I like to do my makeup with the products that I have packed so that I know I can do it and I didn't forget anything. I think for me that's honestly the best way to like pack my makeup is to then go in order of how I do it and then actually do it so that I remember, hey, I forgot concealer, you know, whatever. So I try to do um, as much multitasking with my products as I possibly can. I will say that in this baggie, um, I do not put my um, eyeshadow palettes. I just kind of put them in the compartment of my backpack because that's kind of what works for me. So there are a hundred different kinds of makeup bags, but um, so this is the first little compartment. So here you can put eyeliners and brushes and stuff like that. I think what I'm gonna do is try to take one of these guys with like all the brushes I'm gonna use, including face brushes. Um, but in this one, I like to put my lash glue, eyeliner, mascara, stuff like that all in here so that it's all like in one little location. So I'm gonna pop a pair of tweezers. Those are super, super useful and you need them. I'm gonna take my eyebrow brush. Um, I'm not gonna pack a lash curler because I don't really ever curl my lashes. I'm going to take my Anastasia Brow Pomade. I'm going to take a eyebrow gel. This is the Essence Make Me Brow. I like that one. Uh, I'm going to take a little face shaver thingy. And I am also going to take my favorite eyelash glue. This is the Broadway Eyes Lash Glue. I get this at Dollar General. And then I'm just going to pack some black eyeliner. This is their Wet, the Wet n Wild Mega Last um, roll on eyeliner. So actually I also need some liquid liner. I remember last time I did this I didn't pack liquid liner and I was pretty much devastated because I wanted to use it and then I didn't have it. So don't get me wrong I pack this bag pretty much to the brim but you know so I'm gonna take 
Um, my NYX liquid liner, and then I'm gonna take this Beauty For Real, this came in a BoxyCharm um, felt tip liner, just for like more simple things. And then in this compartment right here, I'm gonna pop my mascara. Um, just because I feel like the mascara might be too big to go in here. So I'm just gonna look through my little bag that I normally have all my stuff in. Oh, I'm gonna take this pair of scissors and a sharpener, just because you never know when you'll need it. So these, pick, these scissors are super cool. I actually got these in the camping section of Walmart. So I actually went to Cuba and when I was coming back, they were like, oh, what is that? And I was, and the guy was like, is that for your eyebrows? And I was like, oh yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> and because he couldn't figure out like what it was, what, cause it looked like this, he couldn't figure out what it was. He just saw it in my makeup bag. He was like, okay, whatever. But um, I got a pair of uh, nail clippers confined, uh, confiscated. So I'm sure I would have gotten my scissors confiscated as well. So I love the shape of these. They don't look harmful. People can literally be like, what is that, you know? And they just don't know. So I'm gonna pop that and a sharpener because all of my lip liners are pretty much wood. So that is this compartment done. And then I'm gonna move on to lipsticks. Um, I think lipsticks probably have to go in here. Lip glosses, stuff like that. So I pretty much always keep a lip gloss in my purse, but Right now that I'm traveling, I have all of my lip products in this bag. So like all my favorite glosses, lip liners, literally everything is in here. So um, normally if I was going on, on a bit of a longer trip, I would take a lip scrub. But because this trip is so, so short, I'm not going to bring one just because of space. Um, I'm going to bring probably my favorite lipstick at the moment. This is the e.l.f. Touch of Nude lipstick. I love it. It's such a creamy, like lightweight, not too dark lipstick. So I don't really use lipstick all the time, but if I do use lipstick, it's pretty much that one. Um, I'm gonna take the ColourPop So Juicy Lip Gloss. I have a ton of lip products in here, so it's really hard for me to choose. Uh, I'm gonna take the Sexy Mother Pucker Lip Gloss in Nude Star. Pretty much all my glosses are nudes and I'm obsessed and I can't get enough, so don't come for me. My favorite lip liner is by LA Girl. It's the LA Girl Precision Lip Liner in the shade cafe this is what it looks like it's literally like my perfect nude liner so love taking that one i'm only gonna take that one and then i'm gonna take my clear lip gloss from essence i know it doesn't look clear anymore but at one point it was um i love this for just like adding a little more juiciness to the lips um and then i have another one but i'm only gonna take this one normally when i travel i like to take a red lipstick so i haven't actually tried this one so when i do my makeup today i'm going to test it out and see if i like it if not i will pack my wet and wild liquid cat suit in the red shade um and then for the lip liner for the red lipsticks you have to have a lip liner to go with all your lipsticks so i'm gonna take the la girl ultimate um, lip liner in the shade Relentless Red. I'm setting these to the side so that I can figure out which one I'm gonna pick of the lipsticks um, because I have an outfit that I think would go really nicely with that. So that's what I'm packing for lip gloss. I know that seems excessive. Oh, actually, oh my God, which one do I take? Oh my God. I know it's not that serious, guys, but <sighs> my e.l.f. Plumping Lip Gloss is pretty much one of my favorite ones in Champagne Glam, but then I also have the Sexy Mother Pucker. I'm gonna take the e.l.f. one. Whew. I don't know. Decisions, decisions, guys. So I'm going to pop all of these into this little compartment right here. So here they all are. Lip glosses, lip liners, everything. And then I still have to decide between the two red lipsticks. But that's the beauty of doing your makeup beforehand. Um, you can really see what you like. Normally, people would put brushes here, but I, I can't. I, I can't pack that light. I have to bring lip products. So that is the first compartment all taken care of. In this little compartment, just kind of sitting on top of these lip products because I like to keep my lashes with this little compartment stuff, which is like brows and lashes and stuff. I'm also going to take my Wet n Wild brow pencil, by the way. Um, I just don't have it here with me, so when I go home, I'm going to pick it up and then I'm going to pop it in that little compartment too. But I got this on eBay and it is just a lash holder. I know they look all wonky and weird right now. Um, but I do have a ton of lashes that are out right now that need to be compartmentalized and put in here. So these are all the ones I've used so far. I like to clean my lashes with alcohol. I'll show you guys how I do it, but... I like to bring this and then I also like to bring whatever fresh pair of lashes so that I have a few options. So this guy will always sit 
on top right here and then I'll close it. Don't get me wrong, when I finish packing this bag, it's like super absurdly full. It's so worth it because then, you know, I can, it's small enough that I can pop in my backpack. So this is the first compartment. You see how fat it gets? Like this bag literally gets so chunky, but it's still thin enough that I can pop it in whatever, you know, other bag I need. So in this next compartment, I'm gonna pop in primers and stuff like that. You wanna make sure that when you pack foundations and primers and you're gonna go on like carry-on, you wanna make sure that you don't take liquids that are too large because they will confiscate them. So I'm only gonna take one setting spray and like as much as I love my Glow Revolution, you see how large this is? There's no way they're gonna let me take this on carry-on. So I'm gonna just take like my Milani spray. Um, but kind of the same concept with primers and stuff like that. Um, most primers and products like that are way less than three ounces, so you won't have to worry about it, but just as a heads up, you guys, pay attention to that stuff. So I'm gonna take my One Heck of a Blot Primer from Soap and & Glory, and I'm gonna take my e.l.f. Um, Lit From Within Primer. This is a nice all-over-the-face primer. I haven't been using it too much because I have others I'm really loving right now, but these are two OG primers I love. I always try to take two foundations, so I'm gonna take my Fit Me foundation in the shade 220. This one matches me perfectly, but I wanna take something a little bit darker because of being self-tanned. So I think I'm gonna take my L'Oreal Infallible um, foundation in the shade 470. This one's a little bit lighter wear, so these are the two I'm taking. And I'm just popping them in this next compartment. I will show you guys before I close it all up. I feel like I can't just take one concealer. If I were to take just one, I would probably just take Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Neutral, because all of my other ones, like I have to mix to get the right shade. But I feel like sometimes this one is too drying, so I'm kind of, I feel like I go back and forth quite a bit. I love the Wet n Wild, um, concealer. I have really been loving it. It's also one that is really close to my skin tone. So I think these are the two that I'm taking. Um, I always, this is something I got um, from Ulta Beauty with one of their sponges and it is so cool. It's just like the um, beauty blender one. So I'm going to pack this guy and take my favorite sponge. My favorite one of all the ones I have is the Wet n Wild sponge right now. So I just washed it. I'm not going to use it today so that it doesn't get messed up, but I'm popping it in that little compartment as well. I like to travel with a pressed powder. I really love my Wet n Wild one, but I think I left it at home. So that was on me. So I think I'm going to take the Superstay powder. This is a nice touch-up powder, and I honestly just don't have anything else I would like to travel with that I know is going to work right now. So I'm going to take that, and then I'm going to take a powder puff, and that is also going to go in that compartment. This guy cannot go in the same compartment. It just will not fit. Here is the next compartment. It has primer, foundation, concealer, and a powder and a powder puff. I would like to put other stuff in there, but I just do not think it will fit right now. So I'm just going to keep trying. Um, it's like playing Tetris, honestly. So next, 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 oh my god, next is like the biggest and largest compartment. I'm only going to take one powder and I'm going to take the Too Faced Peach Perfect Powder, actually. I love traveling with products that aren't super expensive because when I do travel with expensive products, I get so scared that they're going to take them away. And because powder is something that I feel like people are just weird about like liquids and, and powder substances. So I think I'm actually going to leave it, even though ideally if I could only use one powder, I would take my high-end powder, you know what I mean? So I'm actually going to leave it. You really have to think about these things. If I was just going like for a quick little trip and I wouldn't have to worry about anyone taking anything from me, I would use the other one. But I'm going to take my Fit Me powder in Fair Light. That has to fit in there. So does this little Beauty Munder sponge. Also, my setting spray. So now I need bronzer blush and highlight okay i'm gonna take this little compact because it has a really nice little highlight for my nose and it has a great contour for my nose so this guy's going with me i love traveling with my wet n wild highlight in precious petals it's just such a beautiful creamy highlight and it's not too large so i'm gonna take that one i feel like i should just take a bronzer blush palette and if i were to take one i think it might be this one Okay guys, so instead of taking this Wet n Wild powder because these two blushes kind of are like this, I'm going to leave that powder and I'm going to take this product. This is the Becca Chrissy Teigen one. This is a great um, contour bronzer shade for me. I love these two highlights and there's a blush. So I'm not going to take any more blush, but I am going to take another highlight and another bronzer. 
So I'm going to take the NYX California Beeman Bronzer. I've really been loving this one for the summertime. It has a bit of a sheen to it. So that one's going. I'm also going to take my Artist Couture Highlight. I have truly, truly been loving this one. I wore it yesterday and I was like, I hadn't used it in a little while. And I wore it yesterday again for the first time and I was shocked. There's that compartment all finished up. Um, here it is. So all the products are stacked right here if you guys can. Oh. I really hope nothing just broke on me. Oh my god, I said that. Did you guys, see? you heard me say it. It broke. Okay, I'm still gonna take this product, but I'm going to take it home. Um, I'm going to my mom's this week um, for a little while. So I'm gonna take it home and put alcohol in it and press it and fix it because this is like the perfect little compact to take. I'm still gonna use it, still gonna take it. I'm just gonna fix it. <laughs> Wow, that's disappointing. Okay, so anyway, this is the last compartment. I would show you guys again, but honestly, I already kind of messed that up. So this is what the bag looks like when it's all packed up, minus, of course, the thing I just broke, which is great. I don't like to travel with my butter bronzer, even though it's one of my favorites, because it's such a soft bronzer that, um, like this one, it will crack if you even slightly drop it. Um, I didn't think this one would do it, but I could tell it was kind of a softer formula too. So anyway, this is what it looks like all packed up. I do travel. This is my travel makeup mirror. I have a better one at home that I love, but obviously I'm still traveling even here. So this is what it looks like. And it has batteries. So I'm just going to pop this one in my backpack. This part on the top comes off if you want to make it even flatter so i travel with a mirror because you never know i travel with that bag and then i have to pick a palette i'm just going to look at the few palettes i have here next to me and pick something that i think is going to work for all of it and honestly you guys it's either going to be this pro fusion sienna's palette or my jaclyn hill palette even though you can see that these are larger palettes they're flat enough that i can slide them in with my backpack with my laptop and they'll be fine so honestly, I feel like taking the Profusion one because it's only 10 bucks and if it breaks, my heart is not going to break. Um, if my Jaclyn Hill one breaks, I don't feel like repurchasing it yet because I feel like I haven't gotten enough, you know, use out of it. But at the same time, the Jaclyn Hill one has a little bit more variety. It has a black. I think I'm going with the Jaclyn Hill. We'll say I like to travel with a shimmery eyeshadow of some sort because I feel like that really like helps you pull a look more together. Um, and I think I'm going to travel with this product right here. I got this one off of eBay. There it is. So it's just like a shimmery liquid eyeshadow. It has a little bit of glitter. Um, and, and again, it's, it's not too expensive if something happens and I won't get my heart broken in two. And that's pretty much all the makeup I'm taking. So that's it guys. Um, I'm going to do a next video to this. There's going to be a part two, which is me applying the products in here to my face so that you guys can see how I do my makeup like with only travel makeup you know what I mean I love you guys I will see you in the next video I will still be in this outfit when you see that part two because I'm not gonna like get up and change so anyway I love you guys I'll see you in my next one make sure to hit that subscribe button if you have not subscribed already and I'll see you in the next one bye